All right. So as y'all discover that the the terminal to operate this machine does require some sort of dwarven password, I want to swing back over to the ship where now outside the viewing window, Carl, you see a bunch of yellow streaks that match this this webbing shooting from various rocks in the direction of the ship, and they're moving from one stream of this webbing to the other, like, super quick. Something is propelling them. Because they're moving about as fast as their ship was, but they seem to be about the size of individuals. Oh, man, it's the space spiders. <laughs> Captain, there are space spiders coming. Tell the land crew, uh, batten the hatches. Shut the doors. Grab whatever weapons you can find. Kill it with fire. Okay. Um. How many how many hatches do we have to batten? <laughs> I I only know the one that I came in on. It's a joke, Carl. Just find the doors and shut them. Okay. <laughs> Anything that leads outside. Walking around, start locking doors. All right. Um. Carl is super literal. <laughs> All right, so back to the terminal. Um, He's right up there with malicious compliance. Give me an. I'll check it out. Give me an investigation, Sarge. See if it's dwarven based. Maybe I can do something here. I I'm helping him. All right. I, I did ask for help, so like now that he's doing it, I'm assisting him with it. That's right. Uh, is it investigation? Uh, yes, investigation. Can I help him? <laughs> <laughs> just... Sure. He did ask for your help. Yeah, so I'll, I'll like, see if I can figure this out. Dwarven, huh? Uh, so that's... <laughs> 13. So what do, I, do I do, like, a, a 10 to see if, if I can assist him, or what do you... Yeah. Or, I mean, like, it, a 20 it, rather? It's normally just that... Assist action, I thought the help action. Yeah, yeah it, it just gives you. Gives I don't you think advantage. I have to roll anything. Okay. All right. So, so you discovered 13. that it is some kind of four sigil word in the in the dwarven language, just making out all these sigils and runes on this uh, on this console. Um, but you have no clue, and there's no indication nearby as to what that term may be. Hmm. Um. Give me a perception from anyone looking at the console. I'm going to start staying random dwarven words like off, turn off, shut off, power down. Just going to just start saying as many words in dwarven that mean stop or power down as I can think of. All right. Nothing, nothing like that is triggering it, but you do see with that perception something scratched close to the where you would say the words. Um, you see Name of the Beast. Name of the Beast? Name what of the did beast. they call themselves? Children of Blah Blah? Name of the Beast. And I'll just say that in Dwarven out loud. And see <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> nothing happens. Say Beast in Dwarven. Nothing happens. No, no. What was... When we talked to what's his name, the calm guy, he said the guys who are coming to kill us are called children of blank. I cannot remember it. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's what we're talking about here. That's a good point. Can we call back to the ship and get that name? Yes, because y'all y'all smart stones do still work. The children of what? What were they called? Children of Vol, 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 something like that. I don't know. They were pirates though, and they're coming after me. So, if you guys can get that deactivated, you know, like super quick. We're working on it. <laughs> so we uh, say, speaking Vol of, give me a Vol, perception, Carl. Um. Nice. Let's perceive oh. everything. You see that these these yellow dashes going through. Looks like they may intersect the star duster within about four hours and may intersect the building that your crew is in in about three so they've split and they're heading in both directions 
Okay, um, so we have like three hours before they get to you guys, and they're, they're probably gonna. Can using my um, artificing knowledge and my goggles in tandem with my goggles, can I look for any type of magical trail, like leading to buttons that are pressed on this console? Or anything. You're you're essentially looking for the most worn buttons. <laughs> like, uh, oh, we know what these these for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of like key lo like key logging. Yeah, doing yeah, our so, doing yeah. arcana. The saying the name of the that creature. Oh my that god. When you said vol, nothing happened. What are you guys having trouble with? Why is it not working? We need a password. Name of the beast. You got about the, the same information uh, Sarge has, Void. It's a it's a roughly a four sigil word. Do I hear them talking about four sigils and four words? sigils? I would, have, would it I would be a imagine history that. arcana uh, runes. or a religion check to see if I know anything about that name of the beast that they would be talking about. Uh, you can do a do an insight to see if you can remember what they were saying they were, because that's where you're getting it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can't quite pull it from your memory. Quick they question: were the children of something, but you're still here in Vol. What um, which what what, uh, what constellation are we in? No, no, y'all were heading. Y'all were advised not to go towards the cube. You're in the, you're in the chunk of Circle. the warrior heading towards the wanderer. That's right. Okay, that's uh, not beat sounding. Can I search <laughs> this little? I'm gonna be like. Ugh. I search the dead body. Does he have a slip of paper in his wallet? With the... <laughs> <laughs> really, really, Does really, have, really like, reaching. <laughs> um, no, but I, I would like to search. I would like to search his corpse. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and do a uh, Written on his hand. investigation. Right. Uh -oh. I'm surprised they just don't have like a looting skill yet. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I find uh, nothing. Yeah, you you see you see something. You see a, a tattoo on his arm uh, that says "Children of the," and it's it's obscured. But when you go to move the arm, it just disintegrates, and you're not able to read what that word was. Um, you said we had like three hours, right? Yeah, roughly three hours. I don't, we've never done this, but could I take ten minutes? <gasps> <laughs> um, I don't know if you can really take ten minutes to gain like. To gain insight into like a password, not without something. Maybe if you were studying a, a text, but I don't think you can just so sit question. down for ten minutes and be like this console. That's this it. console is, is this a mechanical console? Um, it's, me it's as mechanical as any other artifices. I'm gonna take it apart. You just start working at it. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna rip it apart. All right, do a tinker check. I, because I, I, I'm gonna just try to. Um, essentially, hot hot wire it to deactivate if that's possible. All right. In the meantime, Carl, can you radio those guys back and see if they'll tell you who they are? <laughs> uh, a, ask them what the beast is. <laughs> try, to, try to try to try to trick them, man. I think you're pretty clever. It's just uh, let's use a persuasion. Yeah. About, now, what, tell me what about your guys' uh, names. <laughs> I mean, I might be, like, I might tell me your be. history, so. When I die, I know who kills me. Maybe you want to convert. <laughs> Maybe you want to be one of these ball guys, you know? Maybe you, I want uh, to join you guys. I mean, I'm... You get several responses <laughs> back. Space. I'm organ chewer. I'm flesh render. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did you're the children of... Is there a taser face over there? Taser, taser, taser face. face. <laughs> Ooh, they are trying sick. so hard. So hard. I feel bad. I feel bad for them. Uh, you guys I, sound I, really cool. I get like retroactive what, I, psycho uh, damage from like the cringe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sound really cool. What's your uh, what's the name of your guys' organization again? That is a pretty damn good persuasion. So, we are the children of Null. Oh, oh who's Null? The consumer of all. Oh, that sounds cool. Do you like buy a lot of stuff? Do you like shopping? <laughs> He's a consumer. He takes. You stay there. The comp stops. Yeah, like, I've got like the image. Better. 
of like some punk kids trying to talk to like some very blue collar minimum wage guy. <laughs> He's got like a tie and like a, a, a t shirt, button up t shirt with the collar and being like, hello, yes. Mm hmm. How are you kids doing today? <laughs> I also oh, hey, like to I bend it like you. Becca. I'm also. Hello, Let's sit fellow down kids. And rap, fellow kids. Hello, fellow children. I'm also a youth. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, guys, guys, you're gonna be mad. Parents, right? I, I, I got the name wrong. It was Null. Null. Okay, yeah, it's N O L L. Null. We'll say that Null or N A H L. But they said he's a consumer, the sound so looks important, he like maybe. eats a lot of things. Null the consumer. Yeah, got you. So we try that. We would say Null. Okay, how do you uh, how do you spell Null? But maybe <laughs> Nall's like a four, like a four, like N A H L or N A W L, maybe. N A H L sounds pretty. So as, uh, as, can I say I, that in Dwarven? I take Does my wrench, happen? and I'm gonna go ahead and I bang it hard to kind of pull the console, like keyboard part up, so I can see the innards. Right. So your tinkering tools, you do feel like you could bypass this, but it would take some time. Um, roll one d four. One. One hour. Cool. That's plenty of time. I take the hour. All right. <laughs> so y'all going to uh, hang around and wait an hour for him to mess around with all the connections here and kind of bypass this machine. Well, well while he's doing that... If saying no okay, doesn't take, work... Take ten minutes of that and just do a little detect magic. Ooh. Just have a little, spa little space, space. Sit down and just... Cool. You know what the magic is. That might be some other shit. We don't know. Yeah. Um, cool. You get that the uh, that as he's working on this machine, you're catching some of the um, some of the magic involved and in, in what he's working on. And again, it's just a simple, almost like an alarm spell. Once this right key combinations are put in on this, it triggers other various spells that make this this webbing either tighten its grip or loosen its grip or completely go away. Um, By the way, um, so I'm not just deactivating it. I want to be able to turn this web on the people coming at well, us. I want to. I want it to intercept them. That's what we're getting to. You bypass this thing, and again, it's old tech. Even with your knowledge, it's not exactly something you're skilled with. It's up and running. The controls blare back into being illuminated. But when you hit the button to deactivate, with all the different tinkering you did just to get this thing to work, you're not sure what's going to happen. There's an equal chance you'll strengthen the grip. There's an equal chance you'll shut the whole machine down. There's a chance you may launch whatever's holding into space. I reach, blow us my, up. I reach into my bag and take out some dice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, put, I, I take it in my hand. I'm like, uh, high, we go with it. Low, we don't go with it. I mean, to be completely fair, you're the only one who knows this. So the rest of us are just like, sure, I'll do something. <laughs> He's rolling dice. My is... character's saying this out loud. Don't worry, guys. I know Why exactly. Why is he rolling dice? Concern. <laughs> and he says, higher low, Sarge. Confident. higher low, Sarge. Higher low, Sarge. Why? What am I calling here? Just, just say higher low. Uh, this is not how we make decisions. Uh, okay, hi. <laughs> All right. He hits the button, types it in doesn't know what's going to happen, but he does it. All right. <laughs> Kill us, you're fired. <laughs> the... The machine oh. <laughs> hums into existence, or hums into activity, and then stops humming. Oh, shit, sorry. So, oh, <laughs> I was like, what's... Hit the wrong button. Lena. <laughs> and just after that, who is outside the facility? Nix. She's outside waiting for them hiding. She was considering doing traps, but there's not really a lot to work with out here. All right. Um, you see all the yellow lights, all the yellow lines that were capturing the ships blink out of existence. The entire star field opens. But you she do, grabs her. You do see some yellow light still piercing towards you. 
oh oh that's neat she grabs her phone and screams hysterically through it god guys it threw everything they just went flying everywhere i don't know what happened <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she starts Nick's... sobbing uncontrollably over the thing. I think Boy. she probably dropped her salad again. Let's go check on her. Damn it, they don't take me. Here's a nippity, by the way. She in she here? Pouts. She was next. No, you, I mean, you taking you, me seriously. You, you probably would have seen that she'd set up, like, I don't know, like she came out of hiding to like, set up this ritual to detect magic. So. Oh, okay. Oh, she's doing a thing. I, well, I'm done by now because it takes 10 Leave her alone. She has like a snap and she's instantly like totally fine. It was a complete act and she's just like, shit, they didn't believe me. Fuck. Pouts. Did Anemone stay in the, sh in the room with us after she did it or did she go back with Nick? Uh, you know, she, she stayed in the room, kind of watching, waiting. Does the captain know how to pilot the ship? Yes. I not believe ship, we Carl. should go not meet well. them. Let, we, we, well, let's take it slow. Let's try to meet them. Those guys don't. They 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 had names like Taserface. <laughs> They've got the uh, what y'all name the ship? The Void Jumper. They got the, yeah, they got got the got Void the Jumper. Void, the Void probably, Flyer. The Void probably, Flyer. Probably best we just wait for the Void, void flyer, flyer to get back to us. Um. My character Void is going to uh, wait until everybody's like leaving, and he's going to start grabbing some parts that look like he could adapt them to something. All right valuable parts roll a you know what never mind i'm just gonna add it to your inventory add uh iron wood components not a what not an attack let's not add that <laughs> like wood paneling from the 80s that's what it looks like <laughs> old station wagon um also one other thing because i don't want anyone to be able to use this again is there anything I can put in here? Like, I have ball bearings. Could I, like, permanently make this non-functional? Uh, make a tinker check. Okay. 24. Yes. I'd say that's well enough to make it to where this machine is not going to function again. Okay. So could I, like, put some of these ball bearings? Because I have, I have two of them. They're about 1,000 each. I don't know how many ball bearings I need to just make this not work anymore, but... Oh. I mean, I would say with your with your check there, you don't need to actually use any ball bearings. Just oh, I just I just can jam yeah, it and stuff. You just okay. got it. You just get fucked. I I take the wrench and just bang it a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, is everyone heading back to the void flyer? Yes. As y'all gear the void flyer up. Well, that one's just to happen. That works. What systems aren't working this time? Hopefully not our ships. Hopefully our ship is working perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that's the hope. I like we've done pretty well so far. My little pretty clean mission. Famous last word. <laughs> they are pretty famous and last. Got those whatever's coming after us. Sons of all. All. Who worship the. Bow, the what? consumer the, of. The sun. The uh, sons products. of Null. Walmart shoppers. Alright. Um. The ship lifts up. The ship lifts up. Lips. <laughs> the ship lifts up off of the ground. Immediately, the life support system does not come on. Neither do the comms, and neither do the burst jets used for navigation. The ship just hovers there. I immediately stop breathing. Nyx is gonna activate her breath thing. Right. I uh, want to smother in space again. Boyd, Boyd takes the wrench and he's gonna bang the engine. <laughs> so uh, are you saying that the, the Boyd flyer stopped? Yeah. The power went out? Uh, this time, the systems that didn't pass the check were life support, comms, and burst jets. So, you can still pilot it, but it will be at disadvantage. Let's try to limp this thing back to the ship. 
I'm gonna give wow. him the help action so that it's just neutral when he pilots yeah. it. Nix, come here and help me out. See if you can kind of spot for me up here. While they're doing that, is there anything I can do to try and get the life uh, life support back online? Um, yeah, same as before. Um, you can work together with uh, Void to try and get the system fixed up and running. Uh, you, do you want an insight or a medicine check? Uh, medicine. Eight. Okay. I actually am going to use my DM inspiration to use that 16. All right. Nice. Um, I'm going to use that. I'm going to say that's good enough to get the auction working again. Um, as the as y'all work on the ship to get it working again, you do a slow takeoff. The ship doesn't doesn't want to work with you, Sarge, but eventually it does leave and peel off. But just as that happens across the window, you see three figures hit the window. They look like they may have been a human, a tiefling, and an elf at one point, but now their their skin is somewhat um, decayed. It's covered in like this yellow burn mark. And they have random eyes growing across their head where they didn't before. And they just start banging away at the window of the ship. And you actually start to see cracks appear. Mm. Uh, Turn on the uh, windshield, so wipers. windshield wipers. Uh, eyes, <laughs> exactly eyes of the grave. Are, eyes of the grave. Are these, are, these, are, are these undead? These are not undead. Hell. Hey, Nick, hit the wipers. Let's see if we... I'm hitting them, and it's just hitting that one that used to be an elf in the face, and he's looks like just blah, 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 just and he's not his moving. Face side to side. We're um, out of fluid. Damn it. Damn it. Um. So you're saying they're on our windshield? There's three on the windshield you can see. Ah, can we electrify uh, the hole in the ship or something? Can you do that, Void? Do you have a thing? Is that a thing? Uh. <laughs> Get him off. What do we got? Do, can I polarize the whole DM? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> can I Can I reroute the things to my deflector shield? <laughs> no. In this instance, Work your magic. In this Machine instance, man. this instance is going to be no uh, it's beyond neutrino my particle to magic to randomly fix any situation. I do point out I need to learn how to polarize holes and make that <laughs> make that reality. No, for real. I mean, that's the thing. But the space thing. Actually, I do want to try something though, since I know they're right there. Can I use magnified gravity and pull them off the ship onto the ground? Can I assist him by corkscrewing the ship <laughs> in a piloting manner? And so I put the it's it's going to be set centered uh, about ten feet where they're just within five feet of it, so it would be pulling them down towards the center point on the ground. They have to make a constitution save. Okay. We don't want to fight anything. We try to not fight shit. No, I get like, it. Can I, can I, I get open, it. like, a so... side window and, like, pour some oil on the ship <laughs> to make it slippery? <laughs> so they yeah, slip. Dude. All right. Gonna so them, like, we're we're doing some shenanigans no, so, this yeah. is, so this is how this is playing out. Sarge <laughs> is first going to make a pilot check to corkscrew the ship. Again, this one will be Hang a disadvantage on because while Sarge is doing this, Nyx is pouring grease out of the ship. Um, <laughs> Bright side, this is going to make it extra slippy for them. That's a one. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that's not a good check. Um, um, so they're going to make their saves for the gravity. Yeah, that's and a then we're, fail. Then we're going to figure out how the hell this whole thing plays off. And so also, DM. Technically, it doesn't pull them; it just halves their speed. That's the oh, wow! I could use my inspiration oh. right now, but I'm not going to. I want to go with the crit, though. Well, I like the I liked the thought. I know I know it only slows their speed, but I actually yeah. like the idea of the ship turning upside down and then you forcing gravity on another body to pull them off of the ship. Um, so I'm gonna maybe let it with, act maybe with the with the the fact that this is not necessarily normal gravity anyway yes i'm gonna let i'm gonna let that plan work it's um, pretty neat and again with the grease and everything they do fly out however with this piloting fell <laughs> um you corkscrew well done everybody these guys fall off and are pulled down to the ground but what you didn't see was another piece of debris now loosened by the by the non-existence of these threads that were holding everything in place comes across the bottom of the void flyer um 
still flyable, but now there's a huge chunk in the hole. So, a pilot check to get to the Star Duster, and then I need dexterity saves from anyone in the ship to keep from being sucked out of this hole. I have, I have a ring of web things, so no. Oh I'm my gonna god! Use inspiration this time. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use my inspiration this time. Gotta re-roll that. All right. To, uh, All right. Like, see if it gets any better. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. And so let me get deck saves from Void, Anemone, and Nyx. Spider oh. climb ring. It's going to be a repeat of the whole Gilly situation where everyone's here's, using here's every action what, uh... to keep her from flying out into space. So here's what Void does. His new, like, sheet of... Like, he took, like, a sheet, right? This ironwood component. Or was it, like, gears? I don't know. We didn't really describe Just it very well. Random components. I was thinking gears, wires, uh, small okay. like well, gems you know and stuff we, like that. We have, for... we definitely have a sheet lying down. We didn't fully repair this ship. It's still a mess inside. I yeah, grab a nearby, like, metallic sheet, and so I'm going to attempt to slow myself with my dexterity save, but I'm gonna let let it pull me, and I'm gonna try and seal it with this sheet. Oh, it's not that. It's not that small. Oh, it's a big hole? Yeah, it's okay, a pretty well, big hole. That's what everyone's been I rolled a 12 either way. So. Okay. I don't and know if 12 Nyx. is good enough, but... Um, I have the ring of spider climb. I'm going to activate it, and I'm just going to, like... <laughs> All right. Can we say it's, like, to a wall? It's it's not. It's it's not the correct surface I should be slipping to. It's a pretty decent hole, huh? All right, so we'll say only inside of the... Because it's, it's almost like a small plane. So all of y'all are in about the same room, and then you have Sarge at the front. So this huge rip goes down the right side. You manage to spider climb to the opposite, whereas Anemone and Void manage to grab these seats and keep from getting sucked out to the side. Um, just then you see two more of these bandits kind of bend in from the roof at the top and look in and see y'all. Um, with this kind of damage to the ship, there is no environmental. The repair y'all did earlier is gone. Nyx would like to walk over and, like, just hoof check them and, like, kick them with well, her let's, hooves. Let's roll a quick initiative before we start deciding who does what. Roll initiative. We have... Oh, we don't have tokens. That boy won five! I gotta get everything. So fun characters. being a deck space character for once. <laughs> I've got a thing planned for this. The duties. The duties. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Even the crit, crit fail does better. Yeah, even the crit fail does better. What? <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, I think Cray's watching. Our other nice. brother. Hey, Cray. Hey, you brother. You have another brother? Yeah, he's my our older brother. The oldest of the three. All right. Nix, you get the first chance to act. Question. Are they going to see me coming? So is this a sneak attack? No, they can clearly see inside the inside the opening of this. Okay, okay. Exactly. Okay. Got the sneak attack at table or some shit earlier. <laughs> I did, but you know, you can only do so much. So I'm gonna charge at one of these guys and I'm just gonna try and I'm not trying to hurt them. I'm trying to boot them back out the hole. Alright. Get it, girl. So Did instead of doing a instead of doing of a melee weapon attack, you actually want to do kind of like a push. Yeah. Give I me an don't... athletics roll at advantage. I need the help. I have zero to strength. 
Could it be acrobatics instead? No, I'm gonna say this is specifically athletic because you're running and you're trying to you're trying to push. There's no real grace or anything involved in this. I didn't think so. All right. He manages to keep from flying off the ship. He's still hanging on the outside and holds he holds on with one hand and kind of leans back with the other. And you can see he's got this like dagger made of like rusted metal bits in his hand. Um, I'm gonna bonus action dot dash away. Yeah. Void. Okay, so using like screws on the ground or whatever, I'm, I'm going to magically enhance three of them as a bonus action. Oh, and they're gonna do maximum damage too. Um, so then I am going to throw one of them at one of their heads. One of the bandits looks barfy, I would say, and the other one's bug-eyed. So which one are you targeting? The bug-eyed bandit or the barfy bandit? Yeah, the bug-eyed. barfy? Yeah, barfy. It looks like he's about to puke. Oh. So... Oh, actually, no, wait. So... Yeah, so the first one was to the damage, and the second one is the actual throw. It's weird. I guess they're... Okay. I guess they put it together. Okay, well, 15 misses. Okay. Well, I still have two more rocks on the ground. Well, they're cogs, like cogs on the ground that are magically enhanced. Um, yeah, that'll be my action. Sarge, you've got to use your turn to maintain control of the ship. You can make an attack if you'd like, since you are a gunman. Or a, uh, uh, what's gunslinger. the term? Gunslinger. Yeah, since you are a gunslinger but it will be a disadvantage to make a pilot check and an attack on the same round, I imagine you're, you know, what, dividing your so what, what am I, what can I see from my pilot seat as far as who's threatening oh. us? What's my angle? When you, when you look back, you see that on your right-hand side, so this way, um, you see that Nyx has just kind of walked across the roof to kind of... Um, charge one of the one of the guys one of the bandits out of the hole that is on the other side um void just picked up some random screws and you see him toss a few and, and barely miss a bandit and an enemy hasn't acted yet i imagine she's just now stabilizing herself from the rend being ripped down the side of the ship what are they what are they welding what do, what do i see them do they have anything in their hands they're wielding like makeshift daggers like they're made of just like random steel and junk kind of piled together into a into a sharp surface. All right. Uh, in that case, I am going to take a shot. Now I'm going to use a violent shot. So what this entails, if I hit, let's see if I hit. Shoot with my bolt slinger. 18 hits. Was... Alright. Now, I want to use... Uh... I was going to use... Isn't it at disadvantage, my... though? It is piloting checks at disadvantage. Oh. So, it would have been a 7, though, right? Why, why would I be at advantage? I saw it highlighted. You didn't spend a grit point to make an advantage or something? No. Oh, okay. My fault then. Then yeah, just a seven. So that's a so miss. miss. But I'm going to go ahead and use an action surge, though. And I'm going to shoot again. That's a hit. Alright, so this is seven piercing, and then I'm going to do my violent shot and use... And take another... Um, I get to do another hit die. Additional weapon damage. So, uh, let me roll that again. Uh, I won't let me roll it again, so. It's a D10. 10. Plus two. And plus two. Uh, six more, so it'll be 13 total. All right. This is targeting at the barfy-looking one. 
the closest one to me or the closest one to threatening Nyx. All right. An enemy. I'd be trying to get him away from Nyx. Um, moving forward towards the opening. Are uh, how many are how many? I guess the question is how many? How many are there that have actually got through the opening, or are they still on the outside? Trying They're to still in? on the outside trying to come. They're kind of hanging off of the roof, um, trying to bend into the opening. And either one of them has made it in yet. One of them is successfully being blocked by Nix. Um, the other one looks like he may crawl in uh, soon. Okay. Um, I guess I'll, I'll 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 move forward. Is there any way for me to reach out and touch the one that is up and trying to get up in Nick's face? Uh, yeah. Or was he pushed off? No, he didn't get pushed off. He managed to hold back. Okay. I'm gonna reach out and just try to like grab his arm and make it seem like, oh, hey, buddy, don't fall, don't fall. Um, and as I do, I'm gonna end it. Chris, God, I think I might have. That's not gonna work. Dang it. It's a piloting check I didn't do. Oh yeah, May, uh, roll your piloting. Make sure you roll it at disadvantage. And yes, unfortunately, you didn't manage to to actually make contact with him. He kind of revolted back as he saw you reaching for him. Son of a bitch. I was also gonna try to, with my bonus action, load my pistol with my walloping ammunition. Um, I see the piloting okay. check. I don't see the walloping ammunition. I was going to use my bonus action to just load that. So my next shot. Oh, okay, it. I got you. All right, so you managed to keep control of the ship. Um, it is now the bandit's chance to act. Well, and then with oh. the rest of my action, I'm going to try and just like take a step away. Okay, so you take a withdrawal action to step back. Okay. The first bandit, this is the one in front of Nyx. Nyx did um, bonus action dash away. Okay, dashed away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the one that was like, in front of you is instead going to crawl down, swing in, and land in front of an enemy. And those attacks are going to go at her instead. First one being a crit miss, the second one being a 12. I believe both miss. So he makes two wide, wide attempts with a dagger, and neither one of them make contact. The other one is going to fire two makeshift pistol shots at the captain or at the pilot so does a 14 or 12 hit sarge no all right that would put us at unless carl did you is there anything you would like to do while you're at the comms on the star duster nope i just noticed they're flying all funny no one said they're getting attacked so i don't know what's going on just you... think Sarge is drunk again. <laughs> I... All right. That said, we will hop back up to Nyx. So Nyx saw that one aim at Sarge, and she's not a fan of it. She would like to... Yeah, no, she can't at that one. So she's... If I could possibly do a sleight of hand to keep secret what I do... Um, I, yeah, can I do that? Yeah. That shouldn't be with advantage. Okay. It's only 11. I'm not very good at sled handing that one. I'm going to sneak attack the one that is beside an enemy. Okay. Like, I'm going to move up so that I'm beside her so I have the five foot so that I can do sneak attack damage to it. And I'm just going to stab real nice up into Ooh. his guts like I'm go I'm going from behind too like up and under the ribs what does it say 30 feet uh, just because I I put the range in it and oh, it okay. does that every time I was like my god what a hell of a blade <laughs> 30 I feet. can throw it <laughs> oh, okay I can throw it 30 feet okay. um, that is a hit so roll damage So 13 altogether? Yep. He is still standing, but he does not look good. Um, 
Bonus action hide. In the chaos. Okay. Hide in the chaos. Go ahead and oh, wait. roll a yeah. stealth. As I, as I imagine, there's just debris still flying into the ship. Parts of it are still flying around the interior of the cockpit or the interior of the, uh, the cabin area. So you're able to just kind of use this debris to obscure yourself to an extent and just kind of disappear into it away from the... Uh... Actually, I can't do that. Um, I used my bonus action to manifest my blade. I can't hide. Okay. In that case, you do not disappear into the debris. But you think I'm about just behind it. that guy. I'm like, I wish I could, but no. Void. Uh, Void is going to go ahead and, and basically this time he's going to hold both of his hands out. He kind of like drops his wrench and he starts to form this uh, mass of like black and purplish energy. And he's going to cast a fire, uh, a fiery chaos bolt at the <laughs> one that's been wounded. There couldn't possibly be an edgier name. All right. Ooh, ooh, and, it, and it's going to bounce. <sighs> I can't believe it actually is going to do that. This that's is, the first time it's ever happened. This is Oof. the this is the one that's actually been uh been so attacked so is, far. So uh. this is uh one's ass so the first hit it, that hits him it's going to be 19 acid damage. And then the second one is going to bounce to the other enemy. Okay. The uh other guy and it's going to be 19 poison damage. All right. And the first one was that the one everyone's been hitting so far, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep. So he took 19 acid to his right. face. Um, nice hit. explain to me how, what happens in the final moments of the Barfy Bandit's um, life. So in between Anemone and Nyx, they're going to see his head explode and just kind of, the, the inside of the head just kind of melts down its throat because of the acid damage. <laughs> it's pretty gory. And then he just falls out the opening in the side of the ship and disappears yep. out into the debris field. Um, it bounces yeah. off and hits the other, the bug-eyed bandit. He tries to wipe it off. He still looks pretty healthy. Um, Sarge. That was gross. That was gross. That was gross. That was gross. I'll need another pilot check and your attack. Unless my you want to focus on piloting. I'm going to attack with my walloping ammunition this time. And it actually, when it hits, I have to do a uh, strength saving throw. Or be not or get prone. Not prone. I don't I'm gonna know what that'll do. I'm going to say in this situation with the ship and the condition that it's in and the, and the forces pulling on it, yeah, rather than being knocked prone, if he fails to save, he's going to go straight out that hole. Nice. I'm going to use... Uh, and yeah, he, it's just a 7. He does fail. Um, but it was only a 7, though. Yeah, I mean... Sorry, I don't... Oh, you're... Oh, okay, so you still got a hit. Okay. I don't mean it. I don't mean it to be said it. There. No worries. Turn your advantage shoggle off. Um, so as, as I'm noticing that Sarge is struggling with this, uh, since it would have been kind of a free action anyway, can I just, like, while he's doing that, can I toss him my little ammo pack that I've been working for him? Yeah, sure. It normally it would be a free action. So yeah, that's a... I, I kind of just toss this at him and said, use these bullets, Sarge. And you'll notice they're, right, like, they're, like, they're kind of, like, shining a little bit. So I'll put it in one, and one of them will have the, the, uh, I'll load, we'll load it with that with my bonus action. And the other one will have the walloping ammunition. Okay. So Appreciate it. Do you get another attack? If not, then I need your piloting check. So I um I'm gonna go ahead and do my piloting check and I guess it's a disadvantage, huh? Yeah. Attack. So. Just so you know, I went ahead and posted that for you, Sarge, what it gives you. The six, I guess, huh? Uh, sweet, man. All right. So, uh, oh, again, yeah. another piece of debris while you're while you're looking back and aiming, another piece of debris kind of came into the path of the ship and you hit it again this time it takes off one of the rear uh one of the rear uh tails of the ship. So, it starts flying a little more chaotically. Everyone's kind of jostled around inside the ship. Everyone make a acrobatics to avoid being like flung into the various debris that's rattling inside the void Seven. runner. Oh, do I still, still need to? Um, yeah, because the ship's actually, even though you're connected to the inside of the ship, it's still rattling about. There's still shit flying all around. Wow. Okay. So what check are you looking for? Acrobatics? Yeah, acrobatics. Sweet. So Sarge and Nyx, you do not have to worry about this. The rest of you are hit by debris taking about 11 oh. damage 
as just the, the broken apart metal and shrapnel inside the ship is again just kind of rattled and sent against you. Hold on, sorry. An enemy. Um. Okay, so there's one left. He's uh, is he is he directly in front of me or? He's he's within range. Yes, within melee range, I would say. Try to get him. I reach out and try and grab, try and grab him by the arm. Let's see if it works this time. This is gonna work this time. Gonna work this time. Eighteen to hit. That's a hit. Twenty-two necrotic damage. That is going to kill him. So go ahead and explain to me what this necrotic damage inflict runes looks like from an enemy. So I'll reach out and, and grab him by like some open, some open skin, um, and then just from where my hand touches, it's like, like dark energy just seeps, like comes out of my, out of my hand and you just see like where the blood veins would be just like go dark as it, it like travels through his skin and kind of like just overwhelms him and then he just kind of like okay and it's whatever dust and crap he becomes just kind of goes out the hole um at that point y'all manage to pull into the cargo bay of the star duster and uh you can see lenora quickly shuts the bay door and starts running around the ship looking for any more of these bandits y'all are dealing with um she gives you the sign that all is clear and y'all can exit the ship. Uh, the captain comes over the over the intercom. Uh, you want to get up here, Sarge? So we can get away from this area before the rest of them reach us. Uh, yeah, let's let's book it out. As everyone exits the void flyer, go ahead and give me one more pilot check there, Sarge, to get out of the area. Hey, Nick, you want to help me get us out of this? Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. And, uh, <laughs> as, um. <laughs> So, Ooh. Woo. Woo as they're all kind of like celebrating and we're piloting our way back, Void kind of like looks terrified right now and he like is just kind of shaking a little bit and he starts to like talk to himself. Just, I've never killed anyone. Uh, he's just blinking like in shock. Oh, no shit. That was your first kill, huh? Uh, is that... Is that okay? I don't think it's okay. I mean, no, it's better than legal. What have you done? I'm definitely cops. shouldn't have let him kill us. So, you you, you definitely you did, did right. melt his head like. I mean, it was grew someone too. Like I that just... was unusual. Well, the bonus points, I guess, but they had style. weapons and they were gonna come on stuff. here, and I just. In the heat of the moment, I just used the spell. I mean, snap decision. You absolutely showed them who was boss, and they regretted that choice for the whole three seconds. Don't feel bad about it, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it was you or them. I don't, I don't see why you would even... I feel you. I, I don't even... I don't. I would say I remember my first time, but it's kind of cloudy. I mean, when you kill... When you're a soldier, it's a little bit... Hello, cops. Yeah, I just saw a murder. <laughs> I think uh, I think we're you're getting. I think is self defense. Well, they were. Are you gonna are you gonna they have? They were issue? trying to kill us. Like there are no bodies in the rest of the web. So good on you, self defense. Feel good about this one. Yeah, I mean, do you really feel bad about it? I mean, it's not like you accidentally kicked someone in the face and they fell down four flights of stairs and then like their neck was twisted the wrong way. I mean, that sounds oddly specific. I mean, it only happened to me in that one staircase in that one cathedral, and I mean, he was wearing a monk's robe, but obviously he was a bad dude. Very specific. It's uh, not like you melted his head down his throat or something. No, That's no, weird. I didn't. Like melting acid is bad. Listen. Not that what you did was bad. You did good. Yeah, good boy. My boss in Duarn taught me that spell. And he's from the Necroticacy, so I guess that's a standard. That does seem like a pretty Necroticacy type person type thing to do I mean, in the type of situation. She, did? she she just sucked his soul out or something. I mean, she just literally just ripped it right out. It was very weird. The Lady of Dreams does not abide by abomination. They did have four more eyes than were necessary at this point. Yeah, she's scary as hell. I would, I'm glad. I mean, yeah. that one Let's guy we were beating up for a while there, but you, that was like straight up just one. 
I am not shaking hands with you anymore. <laughs> it's like a personal Nimini choice. It's nothing. Is our gladly our ally. That's all I will say. Gladly our ally. Give me warn me if you're if we're not anymore an enemy, so I can go hide on the other side of the galaxy. Because you are scary, lady. Thank you. But yeah, I figured you'd like that. You, Like I said, glad she's with us. Next away mission, I'm volunteering to stay in the engine room. I... Well, boy, we, but you were super helpful, man. So, like, good job. Uh, I try. It's true. You are a credit to the thing, and she's gonna give him a back slap and like walk away like she gave him a huge compliment. She should definitely feel like that was important. Yeah, you did I'm as gonna good make as a us all old, cake. <laughs> she did as good uh, as a fourteen-year-old little girl. If anyone needs any medical assistance, I will be in the med bay. Thank you, and I will walk away. Yeah, I'm going to med Thank bay. You. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work on myself. Get myself some. Get myself. Some <laughs> feel a little better. Uh, Boyd will stop by the med bay since he also took damage. I'm gonna go drink with Carl because I think he's cool <laughs> now because he was a smart ass a bunch of times. And I'm gonna get the captain to come with us. Take one of those guys you guys killed with taser face. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe. I mean, one of them had like weird scarring. I'm definitely making a birthday cake. It's going to be, it's going to say happy death day. <laughs> first Nick, can we have some sort of like fatty meat? When you cut <laughs> into it, slime comes out. It's like one of those cakes. It's a very bad idea. <laughs> we have some kind of fatty meat tonight. Do we have anything? Like, like I've got some pork. Some real fatty, like something from, no, something a little more exotic. I mean, we you got. Want, you, you want like some truly terrible chicken wings? Like Remember some that kind of daily that, stuff? That pig thing, the, not the pork, but the like crazy jungle alien pork stuff. The, the ones green that stuff. had six arms and like yeah. two mouths, like they had Don't two separate that, heads. Can you slow? Can we do, like slow gate? Because we're going to, I think we're getting drunk tonight. That's what I kind of feel about it. You, you want like a bunch of bacon or like a slow roast pork? Right. Can you kind of keep an eye out so we don't hit any other centaur while we're? I don't want. Oh, okay. To bring on any of your like brothers or sisters. I have no brothers and sisters. Well, there you I go. Have That's one of a kind. Anymore. I mean, certainly not anymore. What'd you do to them? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> she made them into a pork roast. They're not here anymore, and that's what matters. And she's going to absolutely walk away from that conversation. Okay. Well, thank you. Sorry. You can. Sorry. Well, she goes back to her cake making. So, Carl, tell there me. There are birthday candles on the cake. <laughs> y'all didn't want to. Y'all didn't want to RP that, the, or anything there. I'm just letting. They're going. Okay, okay. We can get back Wait, to it. I'm just saying. Um, I'm just rolling it. Yeah, no, I Boyd just wanted to get healed first and then or at least bandaged or something. Do Warforge get bandaged? I think they I can. think Warforge would get like, repaired. Yeah. Like so. from yourself. Like Aren't you a healer? Don't you use mending? Yeah, I was about to say, don't you have mending? Mending I have mending. So I have mending. Lem mending do works it. on. But I don't think that I don't think that works on. Warforged. It works Just on the healing. Really? It works on the steel defender, but it doesn't. I'm not God really. Well, it. like a, it's like artificer healing, though. If you're going to be I'm tactical, kind of, right? I'm kind of okay with mending working on Warforged. Let me re on it real quick. <laughs> Would you let me use it like a you know like a scaling health potion? Like as I gain levels, it'll eventually be better. Possibly. But mending's like let a me, cantrip. Let me look though. into it before I make an actual yeah, decision. Yeah, mending's on it. a cantrip. I don't. Yeah. yeah, that may be a little. It good. takes oh, an entire. Hold on, on. how is that overpowered? We use potions as a bonus action. Use a cantrip <laughs> to heal yourself. Because I can, because you I can put a, a limit cantrip, on potions. A is cantrip is. You could put a limit on it. Like for example, healing an iron defender, you can only heal them so many times. I think that way. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, oh, I'm more than likely okay. allow it because I like the idea behind it. But I just want to look into a. The I want to look into it before I give an okay. Mending on. is already. Yeah, broken it could work because it takes a whole minute to cast. 
Oh, well, yeah, that would be a pain, oh. yes. Yeah, so that's true. It's not like I, I can't like, use it for a minute. No, that's not good in battle. And that's not even that useful. There's got to be a good a way to do healing. Just normal healing, I guess. Mm, for now, we'll let normal healing work, but I'll look into mending. We'll see what we can do with it. At least in regards like to a, Warforged. We can do like, like, a, like a mending jolt. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, I actually read the um, the guy that did the Eberron stuff that created Eberron. Uh, Baker wrote in, in his novels the Artificer would, was still in the Warforged by using, like, artificing um, or artificing ability. But yeah. So, so like, Void, re reconnect pathways and stuff. Void's going to come up to the captain after he gets healed. I'm guessing, like, an hour or so passes. I'm not sure. Um, How you and, doing, Void? Uh, Everything going well? And you can you can see the captain's kind of like, I'm just waiting for wait for storage to get ready. Me and him and Carl are supposed to grab drinks. Yeah, and uh, in the I thought the void was supposed to be empty, boss. I didn't know they had void bandits. I mean, I guess this is clanite space, but... I mean, the void is empty. But... There are other things. Obviously, we're here. Just like how yeah, we got here, uh, other things will float. I also wanted to go way. ahead and inform you while I was down there. Uh, I permanently dis disabled that machine. It won't be able to function ever again. And I also, uh, well, you know, and since we're all in the business of uh, science and trading, you know, very legal avenues of trading, I uh, went and took some ironwood components. I wanted to just go ahead and let you know I did take those. Don't know what I'm going to be able to do with them yet, but. Hey, soon the payment for the trouble we all got into getting up here. I'm just glad the ship's free. Um, we're going to mark it on the map, but I'm not going to mention this entire event to Knott's. Um, this may be a good location to sell. I mean, there were a couple of jump ships out there, and we definitely left those guys without any right. means of defense. And I was just, you know, I'm, I'm all about helping other people. Remember how we were talking about doing beacons to let people know about something bad? Yeah. Maybe on the border we could let people know there's bandits in this region that'll just jump you and use webs to trap you let's uh From ironwood let's wait until i contact some friends first and then yeah we'll drop a beacon gotcha and of course you know it doesn't have to be a beacon that says we did it obviously because we didn't come through here right of course not we had a eventful flight through the void you're getting it void you definitely get right uh you said you guys were gonna go drinking. I think that's. The I figured plan. it came in while we were drinking. Is this not? Is this happened at a different time? I think this happened just after he got healed. So. I would. Have, well, we took the captain a drink. Like, that was what I did when he got back to the ship. We could have found this after he got healed drinking. I guess. Okay. So yeah, we'll say Carl and uh, Sarge are there when you're talking to the captain. Void is going to. Uh attempt to socialize and partake even though he hasn't <laughs> drank before and i don't know i give this guy some w wd40 for my friend w -D some w for 10 w4 what do, what do you drink guy to me he's like a 10 w40 or like we're gonna need some little lower weight car pull him a shot like when you pulled 30. me a minute ago see if you can handle that you give him some of that is it flammable Slide them one down. This stuff's them some, some dwarven. Uh, I, t I take diesel. <laughs> dwarven whiskey. Yeah, right. This is like straight dwarven whiskey, uh, straight out the mines. Uh, instead of like, like fungus. Yeah, I mean, All right. <laughs> is, that I your, guess... is that your drink mixing, Bo? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. So yeah, it's a fungus fermented in these like oak barrels that we use break down from the mining barrels. It's super stout, heavy, thick, and a So DM, nothing says that I don't take the effects of alcohol. I know I don't need a drink, but it doesn't mean I can't be affected by it. I'll leave that up to you. They have blood. Huh? Do they, they have, have blood? blood? They have more force have blood. If he has blood, he can have a blood alcohol level, I would assume. Yeah. 
Well, I'm thinking more like maybe it's not necessarily a chemical thing. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's more like just introducing a liquid into your system makes you act a little strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, just like us. Yeah, like a, like like when a like when a cell phone gets wet, but you're not permanently damaged from it. I think for <laughs> they, they they would have like they would have like like uh, like fiber bundles for blood. You know what I mean? Like con like condensed magical. Yeah, like cables. Okay. Like so some kind of yeah, like fiber optics. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I have like liquid cooling. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. So you have some kind of liquid system in you that that keeps you from overheating or or uh, right. carry certain magical signals through you. Maybe it's even the bladders that that open up and close so your joints can move. So when you introduce alcohol to that system, it really just kind of throws that a whack. Eventually, the arcane filters in your body will get rid of it. But until then, you, you act a little strange, a little goofy. I have my own firm form of being drunk. <laughs> it's just disabled. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling there, uh, Void? Is that what, uh, do you just get called Void all the time? Is that the only thing you get called? That sounds like a nickname. The core yeah. calls him Unity. My my name is Void Unity. Well, actually, it's V-O-1-D-U-N-1-T-7. But, oh, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my mom called me Void because she dabbled in this religion. Something like the Void Temple or something. I don't know exactly what it is. Some edgy, they believe in entropy and balance. and I don't know. I don't, I don't think either of those names suit you. So do you have a name you like better? Do you have something you like to be called? What do you, what do you like? What do you uh, feel? Like, what do you feel like? Like, what do you? Bo, his description was pretty accurate. Um, Want to be called. Finding balance through the absence of everything is pretty much the main tenet of the void. Is that just nihilism? Yeah. <laughs> just nihilism. Uh, well, I mean... Void, unity, or neither. I mean, you don't have to be called either. I, my name's all right. I don't... Do you think there'd be a better name for me? Nigel. Void, void seems kind of... I mean, that seems like, okay, an alias, right? And Unity's like your parents, I don't know, met at Woodstock. Oh, and my Sarge's dad was a... isn't Sarge. I don't even my know dad was a human. Is. My dad was a human and my mom was an elf. I have an actual name. Come on, you know that, Captain. I don't know. Maybe you guys can come up with a better name for me. Like Carl. Nigel. I like my name Nigel, is Nigel because it sounds like nihilism. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. I don't Nige. Nige. Hey, Nige. That works. I feel like that kind of works. I Let him decide. Let Nige. him decide. The engineer. Calling you Void feels weird. I'm just saying. I don't know. And, and he's going to he's gonna use a signal stone because he's kind of... Be Nix, what, what should I be named? Don't ask her. <laughs> oh, great. Don't ask her, Void. <laughs> Nix, I feel like you'd be the best one here. To name. The captain's trying yeah, to like, push the phone you. out of the way. Nix comes in with like literally an armful Sorry, of like man. every cork product she could think of to make. Yes. We have no Good more chair. cork after this. You are but... the best. And there's like uh, four ways of bacon, uh, uh, and just all uh, manner, and like some chicken wings. The beard, like just product. Chicken just, wings. Just, like, I love this the kid. It's just She's the greasiest best. stuff. There's also a death day cake. I'd be like, I made it for you, but I know you don't eat food, so they're going to eat it. Cool. But you still get first slice, for it. Or Nigel. Uh, are we really are going we, Nigel? Are we Nigel. messing with names? Like, no, no, I'm strong feeling about this. If, like, if he does not say, he like, whatever name he has chosen is the name he has chosen. That's what he wants that's... you for. No, he wants you, He he's putting it into you. If I was a, a centaur, if I was a centaur, what kind of centaur would I be? I don't know. It depends. What day were you born on? Ah, uh, made or created or. So like, that's that's part of the mystery, right? You, Technically, I'm a lot older than I am. I'm five years by my mom's standard, but apparently, you I'm think, a, like you can go with any. Like you got to go with. Like it's kind of a mix of the day of the week that you were born on. Um, it, it's, it's like 
and the month you guys you think about Null. And like the date, Null? The Devourer, Null. As your name? Is that what you're saying? Things. I feel but like this is ironically of... amazing. <laughs> I think Null is a great name for you. No, if no, you I like Null. The, if you want to be the consumer and like take that on. Your mouth is pretty amazing. 100%. But... Actually, if you want, I can unhinge it. And then it'll just go like this, and he he takes like a unscrews it a little bit and just kind of goes down. Whoa, <laughs> that is an enemy, an enemy, cool. an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. I think he's anime. fine. He did that on purpose. You gotta come see this. The what? Warforged guy. One, we're having a vote on his name. Also, he can do a jaw thing. It is magical. You gotta come see. You gotta come see. I think he it. likes no. I will reluctantly go. Null the consumer, and I'm, I vote to second that. So, so here's the thing. Apparently, the guys don't like his name, so we're changing his name. But I didn't oh, sign off for that because names are very important in my culture. Just don't call me a racist culture. name, like Clank or Ratchet. Yeah, we're not gonna go with <laughs> because yeah. uh, it's I've like been someone to a couple calling planets. me Tippy Tap Feet. I remember when I when I visited it's a few bad. planets, they were like calling me like Cog and Machine. Oh boy. Did you like, accidentally step on their feet? That's what I do when people start calling me. No, like, I just. Like, horsey. I don't know. I just don't understand why people don't like Warforged very much. Like, we never bothered anybody. It might be have been the wars that you were used in. Yeah, but probably that's, the that's war. That's pretty rude. Probably the like, first part of your name. They probably don't so remember kind of the war that the you were in. So I, I don't mean, know you're why not... they're being dicks about it. Yeah, you're not called Peace Forge, though. I mean, you, so you can't really blame them. Ha, <laughs> Warforged, I get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're I funny, Sarge. Sometimes. Yeah. Show, show, show him the jaw thing. An enemy, an enemy. Look at that jaw. Like, that should not happen. And he, like, pushes it back into place and then unscrews it again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's just hanging by one. Oh, like, oh, oh. Re, re, re. <laughs> like rusty hinge. Oh, That's I awesome. know what I need. I'll be right back, guys. This will help. And you y'all are going to be hand. fun. There's and a nut of truly disgusting food there. He runs like, down. It's he, all greasy. He runs down to the engine room and gets his boombox and comes back upstairs and starts playing <laughs> it. And he holds it up over his head. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. This is elvish techno music. Good. I leave. I leave. Dimity, <laughs> hey, you no. want a drink? Dimity, do you want a drink with us? I, I would love a drink, uh, but I will. I don't. I know. I left the end for a reason. Okay. You're an elf? What? If you don't like the music, he doesn't oh. like the music. Are you from else. the earth? Hey, no. Can yeah. we can You're a gymnasty. I, I can change the music. Do you have any preferences? Not this. What do you like, Anemone? Not this. What's nice, your drink? Nice, nice, nice little breeze drink. blowing, maybe. <gasps> That's how you spell it? That's even better. I thought there was an N. <laughs> How do you spell Noel? Where is it? It's it's. See, I, I, my, I mentally had it spelled oh. N A A L. So his, so his name is Noel. That's, that's what I had. Ah, nah. Where did you put it? I don't yeah, see no. It. It's it's in the it's oh, in there it is. roll twenty. Yeah, oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought that's what I thought. That's how you. That's how you went Noel. I'm down. I like it even better. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm like I dig it. I dig it. I'm here for it. Yeah, I think Noel fits better. I think that's more like real, like void of, uh, like unity. Sounds like some shit somebody gave you. No, you came to came to your head, man. You drank, popped in your brain. No, even better, I had a realization, right? Is because it six no. N A W? Uh, you're, now you're thinking like a war force, but no, <laughs> it's because Nah the Devourer is supposed to be this like void leader, right? And they're bad. So I'm taking that, and I'm yeah. making it into a good thing. Cause I don't devour, I, I eat away the bad. And I saw what you did back on the edges of taking it. Taking it back. You may be able to convince them that you're actually this thing, and then we can like use that. You can use it to your advantage. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> do you want those guys on the crew? I don't think they had too not many on the eyes crew, for me. But not as enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like we can sometimes. You never know. You can make melt people's heads. 
You see I don't it? know. That's kind of how you start a cult, and that's a bad. I idea. didn't melt his There's head. A cult. He can just take charge Cults of it. That bad. was a, that was a chaos bolt, guys. It wasn't. Options. I read this one book that you don't want to be a cult leader. Take my options. word on that. I'm just saying. Options. It turns real bad for the leader sometimes. I don't want to be a. Could be nice leader. though. We get ladies. I just want to make sure I avoid the the voices. It's not the, the I mean, whispers. he's already he can build his own ladies. We no, that's he does that. I've seen that. Yeah, he we all saw that. Speaking of which, Azara, come here. It's cuddle time, Azara. I don't. He starts clapping. Well, it, let's starts not clapping do that. No, I think I think that's no. you And she, she, she walks, she walks in and she starts, she's all like, I think it's time to go, everybody. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll see you. Oh, no. Uh, hey, hey, uh, <laughs> no, no, take that to your room, buddy. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to send a picture to the Discord so you know what she looks like. I don't, do we want to see this, man? I don't want to know. Make yourself a sex doll. It better She's be. She's not. She's not. He made himself a sex doll. Every <laughs> single one of us thinks that you made sex a sex bot. doll. A sex bot. I'm sorry, you're right. A sex, sex bot. Doll. Sorry, not a sorry. sex doll. Yeah, it's the Austin Powers style. Oh no! <laughs> Fem, a fembot. I'm, I'm a, I'm Fembots. terrified. 